Today's guest is no other than Patty Latchdagle, and she is the founder and CEO of Your Daily Nourishment. Now, here's what I know about Patty. When people want to learn more about living a healthier life, they come to Patty, and she knows how to teach you to be more aware about how your body can age better and healthier with DNA technology and the science of aging. The Podcast Empire, podcast mastery for women in business. Welcome back to the Podcast Empire Women in Business series where we help purpose-driven women build profitable podcasts to launch their brand and their influence. I'm your host, Tracy Cook, and today I want to bring you a phenomenal guest who's making waves in the world of business. Now, this series is a great way to find out which women are impacting the world in their chosen industry today, and I have someone truly remarkable for you. We are in for an explosive episode today with Patty. So join us as we delve into her journey, her insights, her strategies that she's used to overcome challenges, achieve success, and the practical advice that helped her get where she is today as a powerful woman in business. Let's dive into today's empowering episode. Welcome to the podcast, Empire Patty. Great to have you here. Oh, thank you so much, Tracy. I'm so glad to be here with you. Now, your journey through the health industry and your personal story, we were chatting pre-show about how much your business has changed your life and evolved you and allowed you to just travel and live your life on your own terms. Where did that all start for you? Actually, it started about five years ago. Um, I had a, a vaccine or a tetanus shot, uh, for, cause I cut my finger within six months, I ended up losing six pounds or 30 pounds in six months. Uh, my immune system was shutting down and I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was just lethargic and my whole body just was becoming like the wicked witch of the West. Like I felt like I'm melting. Well, anyway, um, I went to three different doctors. They couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. I had a friend offer up epigenetic testing and I didn't understand what that was in the least. So I did a lot of research. We did the testing. She, she promised me it would get to the root of whatever my problem was. Well, once the doctor, the genetic doctor read those reports um, and he ran a couple more blood tests, I knew what was wrong with me. I had a parasite eating me alive from the inside out, along with some other things where my body was causing my body to start eating itself alive from the inside out. So once I did a four month detox to get rid of that parasite, um, and I started learning more about DNA and how knowing your blueprint um, will help you to get through some of the processes of um, feeling your best and looking your best and aging at your best. Um, and one of the things that really got me excited about this journey um, during COVID, because uh, it was during that time, I took that whole year and did a lot of personal growth training and learned so much more. And with that, I was able to write a book and have it published this past April. And it tells all about um, your DNA and how it absorbs nutrition um, and what your body does with that nutrition, because sometimes it can't do the right thing if you have damaged genes. And that's what I like to help people with is to learn if they have damaged genes that maybe they could repair with the correct nutrition. Absolutely. Now your book's called The DNA Advantage 
and mm -hmm. it's changing many lives that are probably in a situation like you were or feeling stuck or maybe they've gone to doctors and been misdiagnosed or they're looking for an alternative um, advantage as well. So tell us a little bit more about DNA and the science and technology part of that. Well, knowing your DNA blueprint is not, this part of the nutritional genomics is not where you're from. It's all about your internal, your cells and how your cells are controlling your whole whole life, your, your whole entire um, living. And what I have learned about it so much that helps me to help others is I can look at someone and, and possibly tell that they have a damaged gene because I've seen it. And I, let me step back because 29 years ago when I got married, um, my husband and I had three pregnancy losses. It wasn't until I did this epigenetic testing that I learned that it was a gene that he and I both had um, where our folate didn't convert properly that caused miscarriages and pregnancy losses. So one thing that I like to talk to women who are trying to get pregnant and um, want a family is to have your DNA tested because you may just have a methylation issue that you can't convert to folate and you need folate to have a proper healthy uh, pregnancy. But where does this take me? It has become my passion. DNA health has become my passion of helping people to understand how they um, can they can take better control of their lives and live a healthier lifespan. And as the population is getting older and aging um, a lot more than what say even forty or fifty years ago, we're living longer. And having this important information about DNA. Now, here's something that I read recently, uh, Patty, is that as mothers, as women, when we give birth, our baby cells live in our body as well with our DNA. And I thought that was just um, uh, incredible that we carry those baby cells in our body and in our brain. Um, which was um, quite astounding because that's something that you wouldn't think of or know about or is in a common conversation about health and getting older and cells and DNA and science and technology and all of that makeup. And I found that really interesting. Now, you're helping so many people um, that are kind of aging a little bit as well, I'm assuming, uh, to really take grasp and take control of their life. Uh, what would be some practical strategies or tips that you would give to somebody who and where would they start? So they know something's wrong, that where would they actually start looking to live a healthier and better life? Well, their first step would be to have a basic DNA test kit uh, submitted. And within three to four weeks, they get four test results back, four booklets of test results. And you're more than welcome to take those to a doctor to be read. Um, we also, I will also help them interpret them. Some things, of course, I don't know at all. I'm not a doctor, but we also have people at our corporate office that are qualified to review their test results and give them the information they need of what uh, supplementation they may need to add to their bodies to help them to live a better life, healthier life. Um, one thing is with our company is we actually compound nutritional supplements based on what your DNA results are. So you can get a supplement with all the, all the uh, missing uh, components that your body needs. And, and that oh, that's be fantastic because I like how it's not just cookie cutter. It's not just, oh, oh no. take this because you've got an achy, achy back or you've got a headache, take this. It's actually unique to you and your DNA and your makeup 
that you can yes. recommend. And we do want to preface this, that this is not medical advice. Uh, we are not trained medical professionals. So we do want to make that clear to our listeners today. But Patty is the go-to. She's very versed and she has the support of medical professionals. So if there's something that you Absolutely. want to ask Patty about, uh, and she's, you know, not sure or uh, she wants to confirm that with a medical professional. She has that at her fingertips in her company to be able to go and get that advice and that support and help for you as well. So it's not cookie cutter. It's very unique to your circumstances, your outcome that you want. And Patty is the go-to person for that. I highly recommend to have a conversation if you're wanting to change your, your health and age better. You know, um, as we all do, Patty, we all want to age better. We want to know how long we can live. We want to be able to travel like you do and bend down and pick something up without feeling so, oh, <laughs> don't we? Now, yeah, and get that exercise in daily. Absolutely. Now, as part of your journey, because you've had business success, you've had health success, what are the biggest shifts that you're seeing with your clients that come to you? What's the biggest questions that they ask? So one of the biggest questions, they have a concern of the privacy. And um, I can tell you their information will never be sold. Your test kit comes with a code on it. And the only thing that goes back to the lab is that code. And the only way that code is connected to your name is in the registration uh, at our company and it's a HIPAA and CLIA certified computer so it's all private very private nothing is ever sold and privacy is a big that's thing the biggest for people, problem especially with our yes. health we want to make sure that it's in the right hands we're getting the right advice and you're securing that privacy for them which is fantastic and what would be another few questions that the clients coming to you would ask um is there any complications with medications they may be taking? Um, we get trained on some of that, but again, we recommend you take those reports to your doctor so that the doctor can see what is going on on your insides because most of the time doctors do not run genetic testing. So it will behoove you to have, to help you help them to help you. Um, if that made all sense, and and get the best help and support from your doctor by giving them more information. Now, I have a question. With genetic testing, can that give us a preview to diseases or symptoms that we haven't yet experienced in our body so that we can take pre precautions to prevent it before it actually comes into to full fruition for us. It sure can. It sure can. Um, I had I had a couple of people that have been tested and uh, their LDL and HDLs are, are out of sync and they knew it, but they didn't know why. Uh, so they've been on medication, but now they've started their nutritional supplements and they're getting more balanced because there were a couple of genes that were just not being fed properly. Um, and heart issues are, are big um, precursors that you want to know what's going on with your heart. And there is a gene in particular that can cause some heart issues and you learn about whether you have a, um, a blood clotting factor. That's a lot. That's another thing that don't that doesn't get checked by doctors and blood clotting factors can really cause some problems so this is delving deep into alternative medicine and getting the um a diagnosis from western medicine from your local doctor as well right. and combining that together to give you an overall um uh diagnosis prognosis uh pathway to alternative healing with the supplements to live a healthier life. Would I be right there? That is East meets West is a 
big thing that I keep praying for. Um, there's got to be a good one. And biohacking and biostacking are now coming into play in the next five to 10 years. You're going to hear that more prominently being talked about. Um, and I've already started learning more about that from a couple of uh, holistic docs. So be on the lookout. You're, you're going to be able to do frequency healing. Well, it's available now. Um, and uh, vibration, the three things, vibration, frequency, and grounding. Um, put those together and you're going to start living a better, healthier life as well. Well, with everything the right nutrition. Is energy. We know that, you know, everything is energy, Patty. And I love that you're on the cutting edge of this technology. And as a visionary woman in business, you can see almost into the future. Now, you know, the, the grounding has been around for, you know, since the, the dawn of time, uh, the, the vibration, the frequency, the energy. I love how you mentioned biohacking as well. Just very shortly, for our listeners that may not know what biohacking is, just so we've got a little insight because you would have heard it first here on the Podcast Empire with our, um, our health guru, uh, Patty. What is biohacking? Well, there are so many modalities available in our medical world um, that not every uh, Western doctor is familiar with. And when you start, they start learning more about your DNA and, and how your cells are relating to different things, you can start uh, stacking up those healing processes and modalities to get to the real root of any of the problems. And if only more Western doctors done that, you know, in that 10 minute gap we've got to go into the doctors. I know it's like that in Australia. And then sometimes they don't even really look at you. They write you a script, off you go. And unless you kind of ask all the questions um, and kind of had got a little bit of research, uh, you're taking just their word for it, Right. Uh, right. So delving well, that little bit different and you encourage people to ask those questions. Right. And then one of the tests that I don't offer, but a friend of mine does is a pharmaco test. And that tells you what um, pharmaceuticals your body can and can't handle. And I learned I can't take SSRI drugs and I had been given one. 10 years ago, which made me hallucinate. I'm like, I can't take this. But once I had that testing done, I learned why it was that it was an SSRI drug that caused a lot of problems with me. So Patty, it's been an absolute pleasure. What kind of message would you like to leave the audience on today? Well, you know, there's, there's all kinds of opportunities out there. Um, did I know getting sick was going to lead me to being able to do podcasts, being able to write my book, just uh, giving me so many opportunities um, to expand my health and, and my life and to be able to help others. So if you say no to opportunity, you'll never be able to grow. You'll never be able to help others if that's something that you are interested in doing. Not everybody is up to helping others. Um, definitely has to be in our genes, I'll say that. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that. It has to be in our genes. We need that written on a coffee cup or something, Patty. It's in our genes. <laughs> that's <laughs> a great one. Yeah, I'll have to take, uh, take you up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you very much for joining us. And remember to check out the show notes to connect with our guest and get instant access to your free podcast resources also. And to learn more about podcast marketing and branding on our next episode, we will see you in the pod. Thanks, Patty. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. The Podcast Empire, podcast mastery for women in business. 